What's up guys, Richly Chris here. Today we're gonna be doing a road trip and uh, because of that, we got a rent a car. So this is a 2022 RAV4 and I'm gonna show you today how Open Pilot can be installed even in cars that you rent for a road trip. So Ali's gonna time me. We're gonna see how quickly I can install Open Pilot into this RAV4. Now the nice thing with Toyotas is they all have the same connector. So this is a harness connector from Kama and as long as you have this Toyota one, it works across all Toyota vehicles. All right, you ready? Go. Okay, so first we're gonna turn off the car, right? It's important. Then we're gonna go into this camera cover. Whoa, it comes off easy. Too easy. All right, so here's the lane keep assist camera. Feel free to get in there. Um, <clears throat> so we unplug here. This is the connector for the camera. I'm gonna plug it into this harness here. So this passes through all the signals from the camera so the comma can intercept them. Now I'm plugging this back in. This also counts as a RAV4 installation guide, you could say. <laughs> um, and now recently you don't need this, uh, you don't need to route this to the OBD2 port anymore, so now I'm done. So what I'm gonna do now is reinstall this camera cover really quick. And you know, we might as well just leave the inner cover off, right? There's no, no reason to put that on for a rental. We're gonna return it later today. Um, so this is always the fun part is jamming it all in there. There we go. <clears throat> so now you see this hanging out here. Um, now what I'm gonna do for a road trip is I have the mount here, but I'm gonna just use a command strip. So we'll just peel off this side. This is great because you can easily remove it when you're done versus um, 3M tape, which is very hard to remove. So we'll put it on the top, like that. Then we're gonna peel off the other side, and I really wish I had nails for this. <laughs> I have to do it on my own. A minute 30. All right. So I'm gonna plug in the device here and mount it on the windshield, centered and level. I've gotten pretty good at that over the years, of installing open pilot into vehicles. So I'm gonna hold it there just for a little bit. And yeah, should be good. So let's see if it works. <clears throat> it's gotta boot up real quick. That was pretty quick, how, how long was I? Less than two minutes, do you want me to stop it? Yeah. So we'll cut to when it boots up. Oh sh <laughs> All right, this time we left this to cure for like, I don't know what, 20 minutes, something like that. It's on there really good now. So now we should be good to plug it in. And once you have everything installed, it's totally hot swappable, right? So. We can just plug it in. Or I shouldn't say hot swappable, but you can you can plug it in when the vehicle's on. And yeah, now it's not not going anywhere. So <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Obligatory seatbelt shot. It's pretty awesome. Open Pilot used to take like two hours to calibrate back in the day. Now it takes like 20 seconds, something like that. Right, almost done. And let's turn it on. Boom. We did it. We got open pilot. It's gonna be the best road trip ever. <laughs> That's awesome. enjoyed this short episode of Virtually Chris where we installed Open Pilot in a rent-a-car. really makes road tripping so much better and the rental experience awesome. So definitely try to get a Toyota. Those are the, the best vehicles to get, I'd say, if you want to get a really good Open Pilot capable vehicle that has just one artist connector, which is awesome. So leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you all in the next Virtually Chris video. Bye!